No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Hello, boys, and welcome back to the number one series on YouTube, Madden Academy. <laughs> If you guys are new to the series, how it works is I hop into a game of Madden, but instead of recording for entertainment purposes, I'm more just talking through what's going on in my mind and basically trying to teach you guys how to play at the highest level. And I hope you're ready to sweat because we are going to sweat our asses off today, boys. And as we know, in Madden 22, it's pretty easy to score on offense if you know what you're doing. So my goal here is to show you guys an offense that you guys can run very effectively. It works even at the highest level because this is the most common offense that all the pros are running right now. So if you are new to the game or you want to learn a new offense or you just want to learn how to take Cheeks online, this is the video for you. We also got a couple announcements before we get into the gameplay. The first is that I'm trying to start a new series that's going to rely on you guys and hopefully some interaction from you guys. I'm starting an email. It will be in the pinned comment down below. And I want clips from you guys. Crazy Madden clips, whether it's an insane play, you got cheated out of your ass, a crazy glitch occurred in your game. Whatever it may be, I want you guys to email it to the email that's going to be in the pinned comment. So I'm going to start an email specifically for this series, and I want your guys' clips to come into my email. That sounded kind of weird. I don't know why. And the second announcement is that I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, running the offense you see in this video in the very first weekend league. If you guys think I don't cover something well enough in the video or you have some questions that you want to ask me, I'll be live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mazomatic into the wee hours of the morning playing some weekend league, taking cheeks, and I hope to see you guys over there. And the final thing before class is officially in session, we're going to go over the best and the worst comment of the day. The best comment comes from DJ Gray, who said, the number one tip is to pray to God your user plays faster than my 85-year-old grandma. DJ, I'm sorry, but in Madden 22, that's very unlikely. And the worst comment of the day comes from Grover SR, who said, this video made me harder than walking in on my parents. I think you need therapy. All right, guys, so here we are checking out my lineup before we hop into the games. I kind of wanted to give you guys a breakdown of my team, what abilities I'm using, what chemistries I'm using, and what playbooks I'm using to show you guys how I built my team and my scheme. So to start on the offensive side of the ball, I got Danny Dimes as QB1. 89 overall flashback just came out today. If we take a look at his abilities I got on him, I got set feet lead and inside dead eye. Set feet lead is going to increase your throw power when leading bullet passes, which is essentially every single bullet pass. So it's like a poor man's gunslinger. Gunslinger's not in the game yet, so set feet lead is the next best thing. And inside dead eye is perfect pass accuracy on throws inside the numbers. It is glitched again this year, so with inside dead eye, Danny Dimes can be hitting every single throw, whether it's on the run, cross body, under pressure, doesn't really matter. Under pressure might be the only one that gives it some problems, but inside dead eye basically makes your throwing stats irrelevant because every throw becomes accurate, just like last year. I'm really surprised they didn't fix it going into this year. We got McCaffrey with uh, Backfield Apprentice to get those extra hot routes. And on Lance Allworth, Brandon Marshall, and Darren Waller, I have Short in Elite. That's supposed to give you increased route running and catching on short, short routes inside the numbers, I believe. But once again, I believe this ability is glitched and pretty much every route gets that little boost. I don't know why some of these abilities are glitched the way they are, but uh, again, short and elite is something I would highly recommend you guys use. Jamar Chase, one of the fastest receivers in the game. And then on my offensive line, we got post up on Zach Martin and Richie Incognito. Post up makes these old linemen dominant in double teams. The reason I have it on my guards is because there's no possible way to double team on the O-line without it involving one of your guards. So as long as you have it on both guards, every single double team you get ever is going to be dominant. And that's just how I like it, baby. On defense, we got Minka Fitzpatrick, Ed Reed, Darrell Revis, JC Jackson, Jair Alexander filling out the secondary. And then my outside linebackers are going to be Khalil Mack. And I don't even know how to say his name, but he's one of the fastest in the game. And then Aaron Donald down there in the trenches making some plays happen on my abilities for defense i don't really have many abilities i have acrobat on a couple guys i'm actually gonna put acrobat right now on some more guys minka fitzpatrick is gonna get acrobat i think ed reed i'm gonna try to put acrobat on and then you know what i heard i heard that ed reed i'm doing this live but i heard ed reed also gets mid zone ko i believe and if he gets mid zone ko that's another ability that's glitched and it historically has worked 
on just about every zone so there we are mid zone ko for one ap we are going to put that on ed reed and now ed reed is going to get that boost no matter what he's doing because i don't know why ea has all these glitched abilities that work all the time mid zone ko last year was a fantastic one and then i'm just about out of training so i can't put anything more on but i am going to activate it so keep in mind that inside or a uh, mid zone ko on ed reed we're going to take a look this game to see if it's activating every single play like we sh like it should in in deep zones even in flat zones it doesn't really matter the, the ability is broken but that's what our defense is looking like additionally we got 25 out of 30 new york jets as my theme team that's pretty much just all my backups in order to give ed reed Darrell revis on offense we got brandon marshall uh we also got lance allworth devin hester all these guys get boosted from jets the main ones are going to be marshall uh, all worth um, Darrell Revis and Ed Reed. Ed Reed, before we hop into the game, I do want you to look at his stats because this is absolutely stupid. My Ed Reed has 94 speed. We're not even in September yet. I have my strategy cards. It gives him plus two speed. Jets theme team gives him another speed. and He's already fast as it is. Plus 94 zone coverage. Ed Reed right now, probably the best defensive card in the game. Absolutely stupid to be that good this early in the year. I'm using the Colts offense. I'm going to be running bunch offset out of Colts. This is the offense that pretty much every pro is running. And I don't want to say every pro, but if, if you look at the total of what they're running, Colts offense is, is so popular right now. It is actually kind of stupid. If you're going to be playing weekend league, I highly recommend using this offense. It is brainless. It is easy. I ran it. I ran bunch offset last year, so I already know a lot of the route combos, and we'll be going over them in the gameplay as well. 4-6 defense, same as last year, and then these strategy items cost millions but are worth it. This first one gives me a speed boost on my wide receivers. These two give me a speed boost each on all of my DBs. So all my DBs get plus two speed. All my wide receivers get plus one speed. And uh, I don't expect many people watching this to have these because they're so expensive. But that is the entire team. Um, that is the entire scheme. We're running bunch. You guys have seen it. You love it. Let's get into the freaking game. Vic Tough. Anybody with a Madden-oriented PSN, you know is going to be a sweat because their whole PSN is dedicated to Madden. He's got a God Squad, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. He's got Edge Threat. I've actually heard Edge Threat does not work. Like, it's just broken. So, I'm hoping it doesn't cause any problems. I don't have Edge Protectors. So, that's something to look out for. I'm going to be watching Vaughn early to see if it's causing problems. Might need to double-team him. Great way to start. Great way to start the game. Man, hey. Mostert, are you fast enough for Tyreek? Great way to start the game, man. Hey, I wanted to show the offense anyways, but that is just Madden 22 in a nutshell, isn't it? So we're actually going to be starting off on the offensive side of the ball, I guess. We essentially just spotted him seven points. But the reason I wanted to show you guys this offense is because double post right here. Gun bunch offset. Double post. And I set my audible. You know what? I'm going to take the delay game. He's going to accept it, too. I'm going to take the delay game. He's going to accept it. I don't have time to adequately say what I want to say. He accepted it. Cocksucker. But as I was trying to say, double post right here out of Gun Bunch Offset is the best play in the game. You could run this quite literally every single play and easily drive down the field on any defense. It beats man. It beats cover one, two, three, four, whatever you want. It beats it. I see it looks like he's in a cover three right here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually run a cover three beater. And this is posted on my channel. Let's see if we can get that. Yep. 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 There it is. Jamar Chase. And that's the first. Hey, first play is a touchdown. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Gun Bunch Offset is the best offense of the game. Point proven. No fucking way. Oh my God. He almost just returned it for another touchdown. Thank God we made the tackle. So we are running the 4-6 defensive playbook. The reason for that is we have 3-3-5 normal and 3-3-5 wide. It's the same thing as Madden 21, where I'm going to come out in 3-3-5 normal, audible to 3-3-5 wide in order to get extra DBs on the field. In 3-3-5 normal, you're able to get extra defensive backs in place of linebackers, and that way we can have them on the field for 3-3-5 wide. If you didn't play Madden 21, it's a little workaround just to get... Get the personnel you want. So as for that last play on offense, um, one second as I absolutely dominate this guy. Well, 
All right, he's already crossed 50 in scoring distance. But I was going to say, on that last drive on offense, I noticed he was in a cover three. There was a single high safety. So at that point, I know it's either cover three or cover one because of the single high safety. And I just took my chances with the cover three beater I know. Like I said, that cover three beater is going to be posted on my channel. It already is. You guys can go check it out and learn it yourself. Now to finally gather ourselves on defense. He's coming out in bunch also. So I know I'm going to be playing. It's going to be bunch versus bunch. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Bunch right now is the most meta formation in the game. After this play, I got to remember to set my zone drops. But the cool thing about running bunches, I know exactly what this guy wants to do. I know what everybody else wants to do because I run the exact same offense. So right now we are running a cover three shell mostly. I would like to run cover four, but I can't do that until I set my zone drops. He wanted the double post there. That's the play I told you guys you can run pretty much every time. And he ends up throwing it super late. Revis almost gets the interception. We kind of bagged it there. So now I'm going to set my zone drops. I want my flats at 5. I'm going to put my curls at 20 to start. I didn't really run a ton of zone drops last year, um, but this year I feel like it's necessary just because uh, how hard defense is. So uh, once again, we're going to be audibling to 3-3-5 three, three, wide. I'm going to run this cover 4 show 2 look. And again, I don't, even, I don't even know what's going on with this guy right here. Matthew should be down on the line of scrimmage. Yo, there we go. Trayvon Merrick. I saw he had a wheel route on one side. And we're off. Come on. Don't get ran down. Okay. He had a wheel route on one side. He had a hitch on the other. I just chose the hitch. He could have thrown the wheel. He made a bad read. And uh, we get we get paid off for it. So now back on the offensive side of the ball. You see there's two high safeties. This guy probably learned his lesson last time. And this is what I'm going to show you. Double post. Just drag R1. Somebody will be open. I promise you. As you can see here. Looks like it's going to be the post coming across the field. He kind of got hit. But I saw him late. Again, wide open, easy touchdown. Two plays on offense, two touchdowns. Doesn't get easier than that. Now we're going back to our cover three look. I am going to start sprinkling in man coverage as well. Um, but out of this cover three, man, I got kind of hit. That's one thing I don't like about this year is sometimes when you bump routes in the middle of the play, it like totally throws your user out of whack. So that's something you got to be careful of. And I haven't been doing a very good job of. We are switching to cover four now. He's running... I think this is verticals, and yes, the cover four got bombed by verticals. I think they matched there. I didn't have time to shade down. Did it, was that match? I don't actually know what that was. I thought we were, I guess we were in cover three. I, I called the wrong play. That's on me. I thought we were in cover four. We were in cover three. He bombed me using the exact same cover three beater I used to start the game. So, again, that's a big fear you got to have running cover three. You get bombed on any play. I was lazy there. Gave up a big touchdown. So, he has tied up the game once again. Um... However, I'm getting the ball to start the second half, so I do have a little bit of an advantage right now. He's pressing Brandon Marshall. I do have extra speed on him, plus two. And it looks like we are probably going to have him wide open. Yes, he is. Great throw from Danny Dimes out in front of him. No. And Brandon Marshall somehow does not react to the ball. You know, I'm a little I'm a little bummed because uh, so far we're, we were two for two with touchdowns. We would have been three for three. Three plays, three touchdowns. But Brandon Marshall literally just did not react to the ball. So now, because we got kind of stopped on first down, my goal here, instead of taking deeper shots, I'm going to be trying to get the first down, get a fresh set of downs. That way, I don't have to stress about turning the ball over on downs or anything like that. So we're in a third down and six right now. I am switching up the play calling a little bit. I am going to be running uh, bench pivot, which has a very glitchy route to the tight end, as it did last year. So that's what our play art's looking like. And I'm looking high-low on the left side. The, the out route's going to be wide open. And Brandon Marshall barely getting the first. I actually thought he had more separation than he did. Uh, but we get the first anyway, so no harm, no foul. And so we're going to call this one play touchdown. And I'm just going to go for it. It doesn't matter if he's in cover three or cover four. Uh, this this will work either way. So let's just get this money, bro. I'm looking at Jamar Chase. Yeah, he's going to be open if I get the... Oh, we got shed. We got shed. We would have had the touchdown. Just didn't get the time. Unfortunate. Uh, now we're in a little bit of a hole. Third and 13. This is where double post comes in. Somebody's going to be open, and we're going to get this yardage back. I guarantee it. Guarantee it right now. And we're actually going to run it a little bit differently since he has been sending some heat at us. I'm actually block McCaffrey this time because he's sending that heat. I'm going to make this high-low over the middle with Allworth and Chase. So he does send the heat again. And we threw that too early. Oh, man, we threw too early. I actually felt like Jamar Chase didn't break in time. I thought that break was coming earlier in his route. We end up throwing a pick to the safety. Normally, I would say if I wait a split second longer, Jamar Chase is going to be able to catch that in front of the safety and actually take it up the seam. But I, I, I guess I felt the pressure there and let go of the ball too early. Bad mistake by me. I'm actually pretty mad at myself for that. Man. 
hits the wheel route, and now he is in our territory. Thankfully, though, as I switch to man coverage right here, thankfully, I know that we are going to have time to get the ball back, and that's what really matters because whoever has the ball last at the end of half is actually getting a huge advantage. He threw that to me. No! User SWAT. Bro, I was holding triangle. I clicked on and held triangle. I don't know why it said user SWAT because it didn't hit square. EA really honed me out here, man. Honestly, should have been a turnover. Um, you don't get too many opportunities in the game, so I'm a little bummed that that happened. And he throws it really... I, I held square that time. Uh, my deep third somehow gave up an outside vertical route, which should not happen. So that's a little bit of a bummer. As I was saying, though, as you can see, you don't get too many opportunities. The zones are very bad. Even though I had a zone, an outside third in that area, he was still able to throw the vertical route to the tight end, which logically shouldn't happen but i had an opportunity to get the pick my guy went for the swat uh and then you know if you if you if you're dropping those picks that's how you lose games so we got to tighten up on defense obviously but the priority right now is go down get seven and take up the rest of the clock because i do not want to give him any more time to go down and score in this half if i tie it up right now 21 21 i get the ball back in the second half we're gonna be sitting okay so Goal here, throw it underneath. Even if I have stuff open more more vertically down the field, I'm going to try my best not to throw it. I'm actually going to aggressive catch that and go down right here uh, to chew a little bit of clock because I do not want to score. I probably could have scored there if I took it up the seam. But like I said, I'm wanting to take down this clock as much as possible. So now first and 10, two-minute warning is approaching. I'm actually tempted to run the ball here. I think I'm going to just into the two-minute warning. And with a little inside zone, if we get good blocks, <laughs> solid gain, man, across midfield. And now the two-minute warning is hitting. All right, this is probably a cover three, the way he just brought down that safety. Think so, yes. Go down, go down, go down, Allworth. I don't want you to take a hit, buddy. And keep that clock moving. We are going to hit him with another inside zone because I want to I want to get this clock down as much as possible before I get in the end zone. That's the state of the game we're playing right now, boys. It's very easy to score on offense, especially if you're running this offense. So... With that said, clock management becomes imperative. You need to be able to manage the clock if you want to win games in this Madden. That is literally priority number one. And right, now we're going to be running a little bit of a zone hitch little shenanigan beater. This play gets open. You're going to have at least one guy open against zone coverage. And I wish I stayed in bounds. I wish I could have stayed in bounds. Clock stops there. But we got a minute to go. I'm going to run another inside zone to get that clock moving again. I don't know if he's going to call his timeouts. I'm inside the 15, so he's probably going to call his timeouts after this. Uh, but we'll see if we can, again, get any get any of this clock worn down. Solid gain. Let's see if he calls timeout. I'm actually going to hurry up so he doesn't. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And I'm going to let this clock drip all the way down. I'm at the six, so I'm going to let this clock drip all the way down. And then I'm going to run inside zone again. I don't know if he's going to run commit or not. Ideally, I would like to run mesh post, but I accidentally audible too many times. If I audible again, I'm going to get a penalty. So I got to just take what I got right now. I'm going to wait till literally it gets to one, and then I'm going to hike it. Because, again, clock man. Oh, and he ran commit, and we still had a hole. 30 seconds is more time than I would have liked to give him. I don't really – I, I didn't want to score there. But, you know, take points when you can get them. So, hey, 21-21 game. He ran a cover four. He ran a cover three beater. And he throws that. How the fuck? Man. What, what even was that throw? And he, and he ended up putting it right on the money, bro. He must have inside dead eye or something because that was just like cross body behind the back, 360, no scope type throw. And he still hit the, hit the target, man. Honestly, that comes down to, uh, honestly, my, my defensive line not getting any pressure. That's me. You thought. Okay. I don't even know what to say. I'm not going to rage. But as you guys can see, I am getting absolutely butt fucked right now. Second pick that I should have had that I did not get. And EA... I know you guys have something to do with it. Give me my damn picks. Absolutely heinous. Absolutely heinous, man. 12 seconds to go. This dude doesn't deserve anything. Throw it, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, take that sack. You like that, daddy? Do you have the kicker for it? To kick a 49-yarder? Do you have the kicker, Vic Tough? All right, he's got Justin Tucker, so he definitely, definitely has the kicker for it. He's got... Yeah, he drained that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Three-point lead for my opponent. I'm getting the ball. I'm going to go down and get seven as fast as I possibly can. I don't have any adjustments to make, but I'm going to go down and get seven as fast as I possibly can because now that I'm a little bit of a disadvantage, I feel like I'm better than this guy. I've seen him make a few suspect reads, and one of these times I'm going to catch a pick, and it's going to be GG's. So once again, boys, you see what we got on the field. Double post until the day I die. He runs a cover three. 
That's what I was waiting on the pick I threw. That's exactly the pass I was looking for. I just need to wait a, a split second longer. And as you can see, he catches it right in front of the safety. With not, It's not even close to a pick. So I just threw it a tad bit too early. And it does look like he is running a cover three. And so if we wait a second here, that's a fucking touchdown. Once again, boys, proving that this cover three beater is the best cover three beater in the game. Even though the safety was on the strong side over the top of the streak, we still got the touchdown. Check it out on the channel. That video is live currently. I'm going to switch it to man coverage right now. Um, I accidentally, what the hell did I do? Ah, oh, man, I messed things up. I messed it up. I messed it up. No, he threw it up to B Marsh. No. Thank God, man. All right, I'm going to green dog him. This is my defense last year. I'm going to make sure I shade over the top because B Marsh just... That can't be open again, right? I shaded over the top, right? Thank God, man. We're shading over the top. All right, we're, we're not going to blitz him this time. I shaded over the top again. This time, we are zoning out. It's the same look. He's going to think I'm blitzing. See, he blocked his tight end. B Marsh got open again. Dude, what are we doing, Matthew? How How is Matthew getting outran by Jones? I just realized because Matthew shouldn't even be on my field. Matthew quite literally is not even an elite. He's the power up base one. That is why. I can't believe I left Matthew on my field, bro. I left a base power up on my field. I got to get him out of there. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I literally have base power up Tyran Matthew on my field. I, sh I shouldn't have that. Great defense. As I told you guys, because I run bunch offset, I recognize these plays as they come. I saw that was double post right off the bat. So again, I lurked right, right down low by the running back and the drag. And then I knew that post was going to come over the top. So I kind of ran back at the last second and it caused the hesitation for him to not throw it. And uh, we get the sacks. So now second and 22, we got to take advantage of this. We got to take advantage of this for sure. Send a little bit of heat. How? I actually audible to nickel normal. And I didn't shade over the top. That's on me. B Marsh is going to get him every time if I don't shade over the top. That's 100% my fault. I, I got caught up in my adjustments again and I did not shade over the top. All right, so once again, I am trying to score as fast as humanly possible because... I don't, I don't see myself chewing down the entire clock right now. And so I just want to get, I want to get points on the board and make him make a mistake. Cause I actually feel really confident that I'm not going to make a mistake. So once again, he is running cover three. It looks like I am not going to run the same cover three beater I've been running. I'm going to run a little bit of a different one. We're going to see if, uh, if uh, he's in cover three still, he is still in cover three circle. Come on, Jamar. Come on, Jamar. Make the catch buddy. And there we go. Another touchdown. And we got ourselves a shootout, boys. Gotta be me. Oh, man, we got the pick. Feet are not in once again. So close, but so far. We are running cover three, so we have the opportunity to get bombed. But we ran hard flats, bro. We literally ran hard flats. He threw it to the flats. Uh, not a big game, but this third down is going to be big. All right, once again, we are going to be sending some heat at him in a man coverage. Look, I'm shading over the top. Shading over the top 20 times. I literally shade over the top 50 times. More. More over the top. Me. Thank you. Finally. Little spin move. Oh, baby. That was sexy. Inside. Let's go. I'm gone. And that's GG's. I'm up two possessions. You're not coming back on me, buddy. That's all I needed was one more user lurk. And uh, I feel like this game is very much put away. Listen, man, I don't know what's going on with our special teams. Like, I, I, I've i not had a problem giving up kick return touchdowns. What the fuck's going on, man? Thank you, bitch. Let's go. This guy just switched to 335 odd, which is an odd play call considering he's down. Uh, because 335 odd historically has not been very good against the run. And actually, he shot the gap there, which which is alarming. So I don't know if I can run this inside zone if he knows how to shoot it. I'm gonna be honest, this just looks juicy. Like this just looks like a defense that wants to get ran on. And there we go. We get that we get the uh 
the block this time on his user and as you can see we picked up about 10 15 yards the clock keeps moving we're up five uh i'm gonna go on conservative to make sure i don't fumble but i mean if i'm really trying to sweat and win this game i would keep the ball on the ground play conservative and just keep this clock moving because i don't think he's really gonna be able to stop the run especially running a defense like this where he is spreading and crashing his line out as you can see we're just dominating him in the front seven tons of space almost another first down things aren't looking good for my opponent now because i've ran the ball what three times in a row now he's probably expecting another run we are going to send jamar chase on a streak because he's fast as shit i'm going to take the easy yards and keep that clock moving i'm just going to stand right here go ahead and tackle me bitch 30 seconds to go we're going to go to the two minute warning boys the two minute warning has hit and we are keeping the ball on the ground he needs to show me all right, he, he did show me. I was going to say, he needs to show me he can stop this run. He showed me. Now that he stopped the run, I don't really want to keep beating a dead horse. So we are going to just run the exact same thing we did in that last pass. Just covering the hard flats. I'm going to wait for square. And that's a laser. That's a laser. I got to be completely honest. Fantastic route and catch from Brandon Marshall. But the star of that play was Danny Dimes. Back foot pressure in his face. Side-armed slang that rock and delivered it right on the money that was a beautiful throw and honestly might have put this game away let's see if he's gonna get the stop here oh thought i had the hole but even if he gets the stop we are gonna be up let's do the math here another timeout we're gonna be we're gonna have 45 seconds left in the game up by eight if we have to settle for three so it's not the end of the world if we have to take three because of that i know that i don't need to force anything i can just keep the ball on the ground he can run commit all day he can stop the run but I'm going to keep the ball on the ground again on this third down because I'm okay taking three. So as you can see, his nickel corners to the right side of the field. That makes the left side more attractive. Except now that his user's there, not so much. But, 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 oh, almost got the touchdown. But like I said, we're going to let this clock drip and kick our three. Now, normally I'd probably just kick my three, but because it's Madden Academy and I'm trying to teach you guys how to sweat harder than you've ever sweat before, we're actually going to take a delay a game because it's not going to make the kick any harder and it's going to take off just that extra second that doesn't really matter but again if we are sweating as hard as we possibly can we're taking that delay game every time so now we're going to kick this three he's not even in block which i don't know why he's not he should be trying to block because it's really his only chance of winning now so now we're up eight and he's 37 seconds left no timeouts let's play the sidelines not give up a one play score we win this game like i said we're gonna be playing the sidelines pretty heavy we got 20 yard curl flats if he wants to throw it to the hard flat he can um, but I'm fully expecting that this should be a pick right here. Ed Reed. What are we doing out of reach? How is that out of reach, buddy? Again, I messed up. By oh, man, I got clicked off my user. Don't tell me he's got some type of one-play touchdown going. No, 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 no. No way that's a catch. And it's a catch, dude. It's a freaking catch. Go up, spike the ball. He's got one play left. I don't know what to say about this game on defense. I'm giving you all the advice I can. But even <laughs> stuff like that, I don't know what to say, man. All right, please no more BS on this last play, man. Please, for the love of God, I ask one thing. Do not give him a final Hail Mary breath of hope. Oh, man, he might have it. Thank the Lord. We get the victory. We played phenomenally on offense. Now, you guys look, 378 yards, four touchdowns, 87.5% completion. I'd say a great day on offense. And... More often than not, your game's going to look like this when you are running bunch offset in Madden 22. All right, guys. So for this next game, I actually had to go pick up Marlon Humphrey, who is one of the best man-to-man -man corners in the game. The reason for that is because you saw that Tyran Matthew, the base power-up, was on my field, and I just had a hole in my lineup there. So I filled it. I'm filling it with Marlon Humphrey. 90 speed, 91 man, 87 zone, and 89 press. I'm playing him on the outside. Move somebody else to that position that Tyran was in. But this guy is going to be a beast. And something else I noticed is I did not even activate Ed Reed last game. So Ed Reed with mid zone KO that I talked about was not even activated. So let's take a look at him in this game, see if we notice any difference, and hopefully we get another dub. Cree! 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 I don't know how to say his name. Probably sounds like Cree! Starting off on. Oh man, my voice cracked. Pretend that didn't happen. Just, just pretend it didn't happen. I was going to say we're starting off on defense this game. All right, starting off on defense this game, and since we added what's-his-face to the squad, we're going to be running a lot more man. I think Marlon Humphrey is going to add a lot to us uh, in the man coverage department. So now I feel more confident running man, and I think that's primarily where we're going to sit the rest of this game. Third and six here, you don't get too many opportunities for stops, especially early, so we are going to be sending a little bit of a blitz at him. We're green-dogging, so I'm watching the running back. And I went with the running back. Our blitz came in, worked beautifully. 
and that's a turnover should be at least and on fourth and 13 the opponent goes to bunch offset runs what looks like could be a cover three bomb pressure comes in hits him turnover right way to start the game let's get the offense moving baby it looks like this guy's in double a gap could be sending a blitz at me we're going with our trusty double post see the tight end in the flats you throw it to him right because he's going to chuck a corner. That's just what they do this year. Tight ends are incredibly difficult to bring down. So if you have your tight end open in the flats, fucking throw it and then truck like your life depends on it. Because chances are they're going to break the tackle. I'd say 80 to 90% of the time they're going to break the tackle and get extra yards. I probably could have broken the second truck too. No way. He underthrew. Oh my God. He hit the back of the end zone. He was on a post route, beat his man, but hit the back of the end zone. So he stopped running. That was incredibly risky. I'm glad it wasn't a pick. Opponents probably pissed. Because he feels like he got cheated. I'd say I'd say he did get cheated. And I hope it's not man coverage again. It's not. And that was a little bit of a zone beater. That's a spacing play. So my hitch was there. The flat route dragged out the flat and left him wide open. User didn't even see it. Got caught on the D-line. Not a good sign. User would have ran. Oh my goodness. And now he's making me look stupid. Adam Thielen is, is spinning us out of our socks. Adam Thielen. Have you seen the color of his skin? Come on. You're getting spun out by a white boy. Come on, that's good. What's okay? Alright, 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 all right. Let's 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 get let's get uh, let's get situated. Alright, this time I'm running this cover four again. Shaded underneath for the hard flats. Uh, what are you doing, Alexander? I don't know why he didn't play that. He was right there. I said I was gonna run man coverage. I haven't been running much man coverage. Let's switch. Switch, 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 switch. Blitz. Man coverage blitz. He runs the ball. No. Blitz coming in. We're right there, baby. Called it at the perfect time. Now it's going to be a third and long. It was a second in inches. Almost guaranteed to convert. Now he's in kind of a tough spot. Be completely honest with you. I do not actually believe in this guy's ability to beat the blitz. Oh, my God. Guys, guys. I don't know what's... <laughs> I'm like, we're literally dive on his back. Good run call right there. Good run defense, though. It's going to be second and goal. Like I said, I don't really believe... This guy threw it right at my user last time. I just got bumped off the route. Like, I, I do not believe in this guy's ability to beat the blitz. But he keeps proving me wrong. I feel like he's throwing covered passes. I don't know. That wasn't open. Jair Alexander is manned up on that. It's not a man-beating route. So, I think we run that play ten times again. I'm going to get a pick on three or four of them. He missed the extra point. Beautiful. I'm going to be honest. He's pressing Brandon Marshall. Not a smart move. Dude will get by you quick. I'm throwing it to B Marsh. I'm throwing it to him. He's getting fucking dominated. Holy hell, B Marsh. Man, stand up for yourself, son. Fuck it. I'm running that again. I, I feel like at this point, it's not even about Madden. Okay? It's about pride. Brandon Marshall, are you going to get are you gonna get bitch made like that? Throwing it to you again, buddy. And again, JC Jackson shitting on you, bro. You know, I can't be mad at the pick. I'm the one who threw it, but I'm I'm more mad and disappointed at Brandon Marshall. Don't ever do this if you're trying to sweat, because as you can tell, uh, we just we just kind of flipped the game on its head. But Brandon Marshall, come on, buddy. What are you doing? Sending the blitz at him again. He's running the ball. Oh no. Uh, he's probably going to score. This is tough to get a stop from right here. I've been playing kind of sloppy this game. I'm not going to lie. I am run committing here, though. Fully expecting a run. Probably. Oh, it's a pass. Hey, ballsy move to pass from the one. But if you're going to pass and, and do that, I'm going to give it to you. Because... No way. I knew he was going to run a fake. I knew he was going to run a fake. No. I literally thought in my head as I was on the line. This guy missed the extra point. What if he runs a fake? I should have just been safe. I should have just been safe. I don't know why I didn't run a defense. All right, boys. Starting off this game, I'm not going to lie. It's been sloppy. I was one stop away from putting this guy out. And uh, and here we are down seven points. So I got to kind of pull together. This is not a good example of, you know, a sweaty high-level gameplay. So let's pull together, huh? Jamar Chase, don't get ran down. All right. All tied up again. Let's play some defense. Let's lock in and stop being all over the place. As I was saying, I do not believe in this guy's ability to beat the blitz. <laughs> Example A. So I'm going to keep blitzing. I'm going to keep blitzing until he shows me that he is somebody 
who can stop the who can beat the blitz because again he's not showing me shit oh my god i was right there right there fourth down though let's go let's get the stop same thing to be honest i'm double blitzing i'm sending the dogs all right we're blitzing what is this seven eight we're sending a lot he blocked both running backs <laughs> and the blitz still came in let's get it man that's what i'm talking about this guy can't beat the blitz gonna assume this guy's blitzing he's bringing his safety down to the line and he's in double a gap so it's probably a man blitz yes it is all worth wide open. All right, up seven points. We get one more stop. We're putting this game away. I'm trying. I'm not trying to let this game go the distance. Bro. I know you guys aren't going to believe me. You're not going to believe me when I tell you. I, I, have, I don't think I've given up any, maybe like two kick return touchdowns the whole year. This is my third one in two games. Like, I don't know what's going on with special teams, man. Let's take a shot here. Yep. No! Shed, damn it. I had the touchdown. Bummer. In this situation right here, the stupidest thing I could do would be to take that shot again. Even though it might have been open and the frustrating frustration inside you tells you, take that one play touchdown again. That's not what you want to do. You need to get some of this yardage back. And you need to make this a third and manageable. This way, we can probably convert on third down. If not... We can probably convert on fourth down. If we take that shot again and we miss, now it's a third and super, super long. We're in a really bad spot. And uh, chances are you're going to turn over on downs. I mean, I don't know how uh, likely you are to convert a third and 25. But now third and nine, definitely manageable. If he gives me the flats again, which he did, could have thrown that. Instead, we get it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey falls forward. First down. Now I can go right back to that shot play that I had wide open because this is a lot less risky of a spot. So instead of letting that frustration get the best of me and taking that shot again, I waited, got the first down smartly. Now I'm going right back to the shot play. If we can get the time. Danny Dimes, come on, buddy. Thank you. And, and we got it. Jamar Chase. Unfortunately, I left this guy a little bit too much time. I've been playing good defense, though. So we're hoping to get a stop here. He could very easily go down and type the game, though. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Dude, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I literally... I need to just stop kicking it out. But, like, come on. What? I'm kicking it up the middle. Doing kick return middle. What's going on? What's going on? What the fuck, man? Every time after that happens, I keep saying no more kicking it out. No more kicking it out. No more kicking it out. And then I score and I forget. I don't know what defense this is. Probably man coverage with a blitz. Yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid. Should have been intentional grounding, to be honest. I don't know if I was out of the tackle box. I ran a zone beater there uh, against when I knew it was man coverage. I don't really know why I ran that play. But I'm actually kind of happy that that guy scored on the kickoff because... No way that's a pick. Holy shit. Little click on rocket catch there. If you guys saw, I saw I was throwing it into coverage. I clicked on and held and went to the ball and hit triangle. That gave me a better chance to ag him, and it worked. I'm, I'm glad it did. Not a good read. I thought Allworth would have beat beat his man there, but he didn't. So now I'm going to be uh, relying on... No way again? Holy shit. I, I'm, these guys aren't beating their man coverage on corner routes. I don't know why. Good thing is we got plenty of time. 54 seconds and three timeouts. I'm going to run the ball here, try to get some more yardage. Five yards there. That's not too bad. That's kind of what I expected. And now we are going to run the play we originally wanted. Should have about 30 seconds on the clock when I want to run this play. Again, I'm just trying to chew up this clock so he doesn't have any time to score after. And I threw it right to his user. I can't believe I threw that, guys. I don't know what that was. That was just a blind read. Thought for some reason Allworth would have gotten over the top and the ball would have got over his user's head, but uh, just, just a bad read. Not much else to say. 50. Good dot, man. All right, all right. He's actually got time to get three here. We're blitzing again. This guy can't beat the blitz, remember? Remember? How did I not run with him? Dude, I was literally holding run to the left. I knew he was running to the left. And as our players collided, my dude just like, I couldn't control him anymore. He just like shifted to the right. That's frustrating. Honestly, I'm not playing good this game. I'm not happy with the way this shit's going. I'm there, please. I thought I was there. I was running with the route the whole time. The fuck is that? What the hell was that, man? He's got no timeouts. This guy just ran that play 
with no timeouts. No idea why. That was terrible clock management from him. He should have taken his three and uh, gone into halftime with his tail between his legs. But here we are. He walks away with zero points. I'm actually very happy with the way that turned out. I'm getting the ball back. Horrible first half, guys. I don't know if you guys have picked up on a lot of the errors I've made, but I I've been playing like shit. So we are tied up, but granted, this guy has two... Uh... So we're all tied up, but this guy has two kick return touchdowns. So I actually feel like we should be winning this game. But, you know, Madden's going to do what Madden's going to do. As long as I go down and get seven here... I've thrown two picks, which is not good. But like I said, as long as I go down and get seven, I think we should be okay. I'm going to run the look. I'm going to block my running back. He's been sending a lot of heat. I'm actually expecting Jamar Chase, if I can get the time, to be open for a touchdown. So let's, let's hope we get the time. There he is. And that's a laser. That's a laser. That's a laser. We're back. Let's play some defense. Let's not kick the ball out. And we'll be okay. I said, let's not kick the ball out. I still kick the ball out. That shows, I mean, my mind is just not there. Okay, this guy can't bleed the, beat the blitz, remember? This guy cannot beat the blitz. We're double blitzing, too. Shade over the top. Throw it to triangle, huh? Damn it, good read. That was a really good read. He's only going to... Oh, my God! <laughs> he ended up getting about 20 yards out of that, but I, if, I don't think he can make that read every time. Now, we're going to keep Murphy bunting, manned up on that guy. I'm still blitz... Oh, my God, I didn't get off. I didn't get off. I got caught on Aaron Donald, man. Dude, I'm, I'm giving this guy freebies, to be honest. Okay, so once again, blitzing, we are going to keep... We're going to keep Mur Murphy bunting manned up. We're going to triangle. That's us. That's us. That's us. See? This guy can't do it. He doesn't, he doesn't have what it takes. Now, this time... I am faking the blitz. Okay. Damn, Josh Allen was able to get out and get get a yardage there. All right. Fake blitz didn't work. We're going to run the fake blitz again. Fake blitz again. Same look. Looks like I'm blitzing, but I'm actually playing pretty heavy coverage behind it. Now, let's hope... Uh... There we go. Great defense. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this time... This guy, this guy obviously thinks he found something in this formation. He didn't. We're going to show him that right now. Again, we got the running back manned up. We're going to go to triangle ourselves. Nope. Thank you. As I told you guys, we had it under control the whole time, okay? Under control the whole time. There we go. Finally, he beat his man coverage. Turn it up field if you can. Damn, it stepped out of bounds, but a big gain right there from Allworth. Double post seems to be the only play that I've had success beating man coverage with. So we are going to keep running this because he's running pretty much exclusively man coverage. And my zone beater is just, you know, they're not, they're not quite working. Oh, my God. If we could block a little longer... Square was going to be open, man. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Just making bad reads all over the place. I'm waiting for square. I was waiting for square. Should have thrown triangle. I, I don't need to hear it. I'm making bad reads, and I feel like this is a bad way to give you guys give you guys an example of what the offense should look like. I'm not playing well. Been playing super sloppy on O. That's going to be a dot. He ran it. What the fuck? Man, we're giving up a lot on D. We're giving up a lot on D. Please be me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Murphy Bunting. Jesus, took you six times. Wow, we get the ball back. Sloppy play on O so far, man. Really sloppy play, but we are going to pull together this drive. I promise you. We've been playing super, super sloppy on offense, boys. I, I'm not proud of the way we've been playing. I see a single high safety. Makes me think it's cover three. I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. Running a cover three. Like, don't run a cover three. So, obviously, with your safety, misaligned. His safety was all the way on the left side of the field. I knew I could suck down the right third. Easy one play. I almost gave up another one. Can't be a catch. Thank you. 
What are you doing on the field, Cam Chancellor? You're like 70 speed, bro. I don't have you leveled up. Why are you on the field, buddy? Fucking laser, man. Lowballed that right between the fucking hook, hook curls. That was beauty. Let's go, Brandon. Way to get in that ass, Brandon. Let's go, baby. Hey, disconnected. And that's GG's, man. Not proud of how we played on offense through, like, I think two or three picks. But overall, dominated that guy, and we got another victory. That is going to do it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little something along the way. As I said in the intro, if you want to watch me run this offense live, ask me any questions you might have in Weekend League. I will be streaming tonight, Thursday, also known as Friday Eve, at twitch.tv slash We're going to be streaming for quite a while. It's the first Weekend League, and I'm pretty excited. So hope to see you guys over there. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Now I'm on the outside